Well, there's some stuff online about a search for Sean, and they said they wanted to be there early. Search? Just local people, I think. Boss, there's an AMPR camera covering the main route between Old Town and Savernac. We should have a list of index numbers by the morning. Okay, concentrate between 2.52 and 3.24. Already done. Thanks a lot. When I read Steve Fulcher's book, and when I looked at him uh, being interviewed on television, when I saw the case presented um, in news excerpts, yeah, the Maverick Cop thing never, thankfully, never sort of surfaced even in my mind. Right? So that's, that's the first time that I've thought, oh, yeah, I guess it is a sort of Maverick Cop thing. But because he's so unheroic uh, in a sort of film sense... Um, I think you know. I think what he, I think what Steve did was uh, quite heroic in many ways, but in, a, in, in the real heroism way, which is uh, a bit more uh, mundane than that. Um, no, I, I never saw him as, as as that. We all know it can be quite a lonely, uh, lonely thing to do what you think is right, because if. It's all very well if that happens to chime with what everyone else thinks is right at the time. But if, if it happens not to chime with what the group thinks is right and with what other people you respect think is right, um, it's very lonely, you know. And it, and it will obviously make you question yourself and it will obviously make you think, am I doing the right thing? Is this right? Because um, if everyone around you or if many people around you are telling you, no, this is not right, um, and your job is suffering and your livelihood is suffering and your reputation is suffering, then... Um, it does take a brave person to do what they think is right. And so that, I think, is why, yeah, he is kind of, um, he is heroic because he did what he thought was the right thing. Um, and it came at the cost, ultimately, of his uh, working life, as it was, you know. I think all the, all the time, when I first heard of him and when I first saw him on the news, you are unconsciously thinking... Christ, what would I have done? You know, what, what was the right thing to do? And I can, and always I thought, I can really see why he did that. I can really see why he did that, and I'm really glad he, d he did. Because the question that he always posits is, if it's your son or daughter, what do you want somebody to do? Nobody is going to, no one is going to say, I don't want you to go the extra mile. Everyone, of course, wants you to go the extra mile. You know, if it's a case of, uh, repealing the PACE laws. No, of course not. Of course not. No one wants that, including Steve Fulcher. Steve Fulcher knows PACE is necessary, you know? What have you lit that for? Neighbours will go mad, all that smoke over there washing. You mistake me for someone who gives a monkeys. 